everyone welcome back to my channel we are hanging out in the kitchen right now I'm actually thawing out some ground beef to make up some dinner and Evelyn is hanging out here on the floor playing with some kitchen items what do we have here we have a little mini sized pan just her size we've got a colander and what else we've got this what is this called the spatula thingy and also a a ladle yeah a ladle wow that was a lot harder than it should have been we thought we would come on here today and talk to you about ways to entertain your your infant and evelyn specifically is eight months old right now so she has moments of being a little difficult to entertain but i've learned a few tricks and i really started having to work hard at figuring out smarter ways to keep her entertained starting around i want to say five months five months things got a little bit tougher so i just want to share with you a few of the things that we've learned things that are working and yeah just some little tips and tricks for keeping your baby happy and less fussy and more entertained. So tip number one, if all else fails, use everyday household items that are safe, of course, make sure they're safe. And then you probably wanna keep an eye on them just in case, cause of course these things aren't made for babies. So you just might wanna keep an eye on them to make sure that they're not getting into too much trouble. Use everyday items and your baby's gonna be entertained because sometimes the best toys are not toys at all, right Evelyn? You know, sometimes they just get really bored of their toys. But another thing you can do to help with that is to put your toys on a rotation. So, Take however many toys, I don't know, 10 toys, five toys, it doesn't really matter. Take however many toys, divide it up by two or three or more, depending on how many toys you have. Start giving them just that amount of toys and let them play with those for, I don't know, a week, two weeks, and then shift it out to the next set of toys in the rotation. Another trick that you can do to entertain your baby is to put them in the baby carrier, especially front facing, because then they can watch everything you're doing. From what I've heard, it's not a great idea to keep your baby in the front facing position. I don't know if that's just until a certain age or if it's always not good for them, but I think it's just not good for them to be in that position for too long because of their hip development. When their legs are straight down, it's not the greatest for their hip development, but for short periods of time, 15, 20 minutes, that kind of thing, it's, it's okay, it's fine. So put your baby outward facing so they can see the world and take them with you when you're making dinner, when you're doing the laundry, when you're vacuuming, that works well for us. If you are decluttering your house, that's something my husband Doug and I have been working on. See the boxes? And we just take her with us because we kind of need to get the work done. So yeah, just take your baby with you doing everyday tasks and they're gonna be entertained. What's your best tip for the bored babies out there? I think her best tip is to pull your mom's hair or poke her in the eye. That always keeps her entertained, especially if you scream and say, ow. Ow, ow. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. <laughs> Another tip is if you have a dog, use that dog to entertain your baby. Obviously, make sure you're watching. You don't want to leave your baby alone with your dog, but if you have a dog that loves your baby and you feel safe about it, definitely use your dog for entertainment. There were many times, and there still are, when I put her into like her jumper and I will just call the dog over to just lie down and watch her because if the dog is looking at her, she's happy. 
Now, if he rolls around and looks at the wall and doesn't look at her, she's sad. So, you know, I'll have to make him turn around again. But if you have a dog that loves your baby and it's safe and you can watch them, then I highly recommend using your dog for entertainment or any pet for that matter, as long as you're watching. There's been other times where when she was younger and she wasn't quite as mobile, I would just have him come over to us on the couch and she would just laugh her head off. Pets make great entertainment if they are safe for your baby to be around. No matter how safe your pet is, you should definitely keep eyes on them at all times. But still, your baby probably loves your pets. So if you can call them over and, I don't know, have them do funny things like play on the floor, it'll probably make your baby laugh a lot. Anything that makes noise will entertain your baby, as long as they're not scared of it. If it's something they can make noise with, they're gonna love it. Another thing to do with your baby if they're getting bored is take, take them outside. Just a simple change of scenery for your baby does wonders and they love, love looking outside. At least my baby does. She, she can be fussy, throwing a fit, anything. And I step outside and sit her on my lap and take a look into the backyard or the front yard. The car's passing by, that'll do it too. And she will just calm right down. Doesn't matter her mood, doesn't matter if she's teething, doesn't matter what she's going through. She is going to calm right down and just be in awe of nature. So use nature to your advantage or cars passing by, whichever, both work. So we want to talk really briefly about whenever babies are... Emily, have that man. We want to talk briefly about whenever babies are learning to roll when they're learning to crawl, they can be very, very, very fussy because they're frustrated. They want to be able to do these things and they can't quite, so they cry and fuss a lot. So for instance, when they're trying to learn to roll, they might be playing on the floor happily, then roll onto their belly, then just throw a fit because they can't figure out how to get back over. And they're really, really upset. And then you go over and you pick them up and you calm them down and you try to put them down to play again because you want a little bit of rest. And they do the same thing and it just goes again and again and again. Or when they're learning to crawl and they're just so angry that no matter what, if they're on the floor, they're angry because they can't quite move, but they know they should be able to and they want to. And again, you're having to hold them because if they're on the floor, they're crying. Well, this is something, unfortunately, you can't necessarily get out of. You're going to have to endure the fussiness, endure the crying for a little while because if you continually pick them up, it's just going to prolong the issue. It's not an issue, but they're trying to, they're learning. So it's just going to prolong the fussing and crying. It's going to prolong the time that it takes for them to learn these skills. And you don't want that. So you are going to have to endure the crying and the fussing. It's going to be days, maybe weeks. But of course, when they get really, really upset, give them a break, pick them up. But if it's just been a couple of minutes and they're immediately starting to cry and fuss again, don't just go pick them up immediately. Trust me, I did this and they learn so much faster if you just let them fuss a little bit. It's hard to watch, it really, really is. But you'll see, within no time, they'll be a lot more mobile and they'll be happy because they'll have succeeded at what they're trying to do. They'll be so proud of themselves. They'll be rolling around in no time or crawling, scooting in no time. And you'll be so glad that you did let them fuss a little bit and go through that because if you pick them up every time, they're never going to learn. Yeah, so that's not so much how to entertain your baby, but what to do in the situation where you can't entertain them out of the situation. Side note. You might be wondering, why do we have a dresser and a changing pad? 
in our kitchen dining room area? That's a good question. No, but for real, as I mentioned, my husband and I are working on decluttering, we're downsizing. I recently purchased a smaller, like changing dresser for the nursery, because this thing is huge. And it was just holding too much stuff. I have a pretty small wardrobe for myself and my baby, and I don't need a dresser that size. So we're going to be giving this one away. It's one that my husband had for a long time and it's time for it to go because it doesn't fit in our bedroom or anything. So anyways, working on decluttering, we have no place to put it, so we pulled it out here until we find someone to take it off of our hand. Sometimes your baby will find how to use things the way they're not meant to be used. But as long as they're safe, just go with it. They're entertained for the moment, let them do it. Let them explore, let them try things. This is her activity center, and right now she's learning to crawl and she's just enjoying climbing up over things. Something you may come across when your baby gets around seven or eight months old, and maybe this is just my baby, but if you have a really curious, always on the go baby, you may run into this where your baby suddenly hates diaper changes or hates having their clothes changed. I think having her clothes changed started a little earlier, but diaper changes, hating that, started more recently. And she will throw a mini tantrum if I have to stop what she's stop her from what she's doing to change her diaper. And at first, it, it took me by surprise a little bit, and I kind of was like, okay, let's not change your diaper right now. I can tell you're really upset about something, what's going on? But then I realized, nope, she's just upset about me changing her diaper almost every time. The trick for this, sometimes they're just gonna be upset, but try giving them something to play with while you're changing their diaper. So she's got like a little book of Jack and Jill. She has got, um, or I'll hand, actually this is the real hack. Give them something that they aren't normally allowed to have. So maybe like a lotion bottle or their wipes package, something like that. Something they're always wanting, but you don't normally let them play with as long as it's safe, of course. So give them something like that and their crying should stop almost instantly. And if not, just hold them there so they're, they're safe. They're not gonna fly off of the dresser or wherever you're changing them. Just Hold them till they pass till they pass that moment a little bit. Give them something to play with that they love and you'll be okay. Just get that diaper changed and you gotta move through it because again, if you always immediately pick your baby up and don't do the thing they, they really need, they need that diaper changed, then they're going to think, okay, I don't have to ever have my diaper changed. I just have to throw a fit for it. So we don't want that obviously within reason, but if your baby just absolutely hates diaper changes, you do have to work through that as hard as it is, and we're in the middle of it right now, but she is definitely getting better. The little mini tantrums don't last nearly as long. I give her something that she likes to entertain her, something she doesn't normally get to play with, and within a few seconds, she's good to go. That's a little tip, it's something you may or may not experience, but if you are experiencing it, let me know in the comments because I know how hard it is when you need to change your baby's clothes or need to change their diaper and they don't want anything to do with it because we have to change those diapers and their clothes quite frequently. They're babies. So, so going back to the, and I'm just cooking up some ground beef right here. Going back to the kind of needing to change up the scenery, like go outside to keep your baby entertained. You may think you just have a really fussy baby, like a really unhappy infant, but what you probably just need to do is just change up that scenery because I'm shocked. I'm always shocked when she starts. What are you doing? She likes to cough for fun sometimes. I'm always shocked that I think that, wow, you know, she's just really fussy. We're having a fussy day. But then just taking her out of the nursery or just taking her out of whatever room we are in and moving on to a different room, it almost always fixes the issue. So, you know, we get tired and we want to sit in one place. Sometimes the babies, like, that's all they know. They know that room where you've got them. 
So definitely move them out of there, change it up, and you're gonna have a much happier baby on your hands. Like honestly, you can keep your baby pretty happy and not very fussy at all if you just change up the scenery as soon as you start noticing them getting a little bit fussy. Like you can do that all day and keep a pretty happy baby. Like right now, I knew I needed to do some dinner prep and I knew I needed my baby to be entertained. So I decided, let me pull out some cooking utensils because she's not really played with those before. And I know she's gonna just stay entertained while I do this. And so just think about how many things around your house that you can pull out. And you know, you'll have endless, endless toys to entertain your baby with. Sometimes you just gotta get a little creative, but Babies are really simple, so a little creativity goes a long, long way with a baby. Evelyn! Evelyn, come here! Come on! Come here! Come here, Evelyn! Come here! Come on! Come on, Evelyn! Come on! I hope this was helpful if you are looking for ways to entertain your baby. Because I know when my baby, like I said, turned about five months, I was like, what do I do with her? She suddenly got so hard to entertain. She was becoming more mobile. She just wanted to be on the go all the time, wanted to have more things to do. So I hope this video covers those things for you and you'll have some new ideas for entertaining your infant. If this was helpful, please let us know, give it a thumbs up, and drop us a comment below. Let us know how old your baby is, or if I missed anything, if you have ideas for how you've been keeping your baby entertained, um, let me know, because you know we can all use ideas from time to time. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go make some dinner, and I'll see you really soon in the next video. Bye! Can you say bye-bye, Evelyn? Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye! Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe.